welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the large empties video. Uh, 10 months worth and it's a lot. Hope that you guys caught part one and I will link that above so that you guys can go and check that out. And we're gonna go ahead and get rolling along with part two. Instead of fabric softeners or dryer sheets, I use the wool dryer balls with essential oils. And I thought, well, I'll grab one that already has the scent in it. And this is 100% natural. It's soft and uh, pure New Zealand wool. This was in the scent citrus. I didn't even notice anything different, um, maybe one or two washes, but there's another one that I use that comes in a package of four, um, which, you know, it doesn't hurt to have those because I usually, especially with the towels, I'll throw in four or five, speeds up the drying time, keeps them soft, cuts down on static. Yeah, I just, it didn't ha keep any scent and I just ended up being another dryer ball. I used the Orcasia Lime, uh, finished up one of these, the essential oils. Use this on those dryer balls for a really fresh scent. Love this in the summer. Uh, really fresh uh, to brighten up uh, towels especially. And so yes, this is something that I would repurchase. And I think I have, I'm pretty sure, we got a lot of essential oils going on right now, but I'm pretty sure I have another one in backup. Um, I did go through some, um, these are the EO. Uh, this is in Focus, Calm, and Soothe. These are the essential oil blends. These are the ones that I use on the dryer balls. Uh, I also used uh, like the Soothe. This has eucalyptus in it in the EO uh, diffuser. So you add water and then a couple drops. I think no more than two because it's a small diffuser. But yeah, we were experiencing colds. My son, my younger son was dealing with that. This really helped him. And so, yeah, not only do I use them on the wool dryer balls for laundry, but also for uh, aromatherapy properties. So that really helped him. I have not picked up one. I really need to put this on my list. This is the Charlie Soap. We have really hard water in our area. And uh, this is a booster for hard water treatment. So this makes everything work better. Laundry detergent or your stain fighters, but this it does say it fights stains, softens clothes, keeps whites white. Uh, that's one of the things whites in my household because of our water really picks up those hard water deposits and turns things more of a, a dingy kind of yellow if I don't have anything that really whitens. I ordered this another one through Vitacost so it should be here in a couple days and I absolutely love this. Um, I actually am trying two other oxygen whiteners as well and this is chlorine free, ultra concentrated, color safe, non-toxic and hypoallergenic. Naturally tackles tough stains, whitens whites and eliminates odors. So with two boys, three counting my husband, definitely need that. Okay, the last video that I did was KB Organics. This is their aromatherapy all-purpose laundry powder. And this is vegan, uh, no animal testing for sensitive skin, no chemicals. This is the unscented. It's made with washing soda, baking soda, soap flakes, and made with love. That's all it has in it. No parabens, uh, phosphates, chlorine, artificial colorants, animal testing, chemicals. It is sensitive skin safe, septic tank safe. Uh, HE washer safe, which is what I have. This is the um, 60 ounces, it's 30 loads or 60 loads in HE. I got sample packs, so if you want to try it out first, definitely do that. Uh, lavender is the one that I use first. I had a lavender sample. Then there was the the uh, honeysuckle sample. The honeysuckle is really good. I was surprised. I was thinking, man, that's going to be overly floral. That's one of the scents I really enjoyed. So it's lavender, unscented, lemon, honeysuckle. I can't remember which side it pops up on, but I will put a link to that video as well. Seventh generation streak free shine. This is a glass and surface natural cleaner. Used one of these. Currently have one of these. It's almost done now. And I've made my own, um, go, you know, just trying to simplify things. Uh, Root Pretty makes a uh, everything soap, which is their version of Castile soap, I, and put them in a spray bottle. I think it's like one tablespoon for eight ounces. So small, I mean, you can buy it in bulk, which I have. <laughs> How much do I love their product? This is a second bulk that I have. This is the lemon. I have multiples. Um, so one or two squirts of this in eight ounces of vinegar. It makes my cleaner for everything, glass, windows, countertops and so yeah it's it ends up being a lot more affordable let's just say when you buy something like this than having to pay for this and this is only one thing or you use it for glass i guess you could use it for countertops too but really i mean i don't know so um it does say surface cleaner but yeah i just like having how many of these can i make with this so yeah definitely better definitely more affordable that's the way i'm starting to go 
Are you picking up a trend here? This is uh, the Eucalyptus Ease. Love, love, love this scent. It has like a woodsy pine without smelling like chemical pine, if that makes sense. Um, this has, it's the Douglas fir scent. But uh, for the meantime, I'm going to try making my own with the essential oils that I have until I use up that and then I will repurchase one of these. I do not have the bottle I'm use, repurposing that. It was the California Baby Overtired and Cranky Everywhere Spritzer. So, so it was a very bright, natural scent. Uh, was one of those things that helped clean the air without putting any toxic fragrance in the air. So really love that. Another household product, seven generation. These are multi-purpose wipes. These were the uh, garden mint. I had used these back uh, school had started and we're, oh my gosh, the colds were bad. I don't normally pick up something like this, but I did when we really were trying to fight colds and and I was wiping down things every day and it was just kind of hard to keep up with the laundry. And so this was a really good product. I like this, but it, again, it's pretty sure it was biodegradable, gluten-free, which is a priority and even cleaning things because I'm highly sensitive and uh, phosphate free. So yeah, um, these are something that I would recommend. I like them, but it's not something I want to keep around our house all the time. I prefer to use microfiber cloths and uh, the washing or EO products used to carry used to a lemon castile soap so that's where this bottle comes from and then i think I believe this was a 48 ounce bottle this is just one that i have kept i have repurposed it i will continue to use this and a lot of times if i buy a bulk product um then i will use this uh i have some things that i buy like castile soap that you can dilute and this makes a perfect uh product or perfect bottle to do that in i don't carry anymore it's not on their website i'm so disappointed but i will uh, repurpose this bottle and use that so i'm going to put that on the side so it does not go in the recycle bin i do have another product that i'm going to repurpose this is an old container that i have i make my own coconut and uh, sugar scrub and you can apply whatever essential oils that you want to it love olive oil and sugar that's another great uh, combination you can apply your essential oils if you want them and so yeah I, this product or this packaging I will repurpose again uh, yeah so that is it guys 10 months of products you guys can see what I really like there are things that I would repurchase but I'm taking a sideline kind of using up things that I have right now and things that I found um, that are in bulk that I will be using for quite a while. So again, this is me purchasing my products. This is real life, real talk. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, obviously. I kinda of hate when people post, and oh gosh, this is, <laughs> okay. I hate when people post in their honest review. Well, I hope so, for Pete's sake. I mean, my gosh, I don't want you blowing smoke up my <laughs> Okay, Southern term. <laughs> But seriously, I'm like anybody on here, but these are products I buy with my own money. Oh, so, hey, don't steal my products. <laughs> <laughs> I better run guys I got uh, the poochie over here trying to take my recyclables so hope everyone's having a fantastic day I will try not to be such a stranger don't be a stranger as well comment below let me know what you guys are thinking um, I will say thank you so much for the people that uh, uh, DM'd me PM'd me said that they were hoping I was doing well and uh, also they were missing my videos uh, any notes that I got from you guys that was just making sure I was doing okay I greatly appreciate that I appreciate anybody who uses my links because you guys know that I am buying my own products and it's one of those ways that you really are supporting me and supporting my channel and what I'm doing here. So I appreciate that so, so very much. You guys, oh, you mean the world to me. Hope you have a beautiful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care. See you guys. Bye.